this is a real thing. I can't even believe Freddie's game has gotten here. I, I, I wouldn't even be surprised. Like, that's surprising that we've gotten to that point, but I wouldn't be surprised if they are looking to ship Freddie out of town. Oh, no way. By the trade deadline. No I would way. not. I would not be surprised. I think Kyle Dubas, like I said in the last podcast, last year he saw the numbers declining and – Thought to himself, I got to upgrade. Couldn't do it. Chad, who the fuck is bringing in Freddie Anderson right now? What do you, what, why would another team bring him in? For what? A cop run? I don't know. No, what, why, why are you bringing him in? <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm just saying they're probably trying. Like, I wouldn't, they're probably I, I, trying to upgrade goalie. Okay. At like, this it point, wasn't on the radar a while ago, but right now, if you're going to win the Stanley Cup this year, are you going to do it with Jack Campbell and Freddie Anderson? Maybe. Maybe, but we, the there, way, there's the a way lot of Freddie's been playing. No, yeah. you're right. There's a lot of unknowns there. And I don't believe, unless they win a cup or something crazy happens in the playoff where Anderson really shows himself. And like, like we talked about this on Friday, like I think this is the end of the road for Freddie Anderson in Toronto. I think this is it. So, yeah, would it be nice to get something for him? But, yeah, that probably would have been better to do in the offseason because now – it's like, fuck, what are you going to do? Like, you're not going to get a ton for him because I don't think a team – like, I'm trying to even think what, of a team that you, would – What if you get another Jack Campbell, another backup that has potential somewhere else, and you run the two of them? That's risky too, though. It is, but – what if Fred, And then what if Fred finds this game, like, halfway through April? And he, get, and he, gets, go, he goes on a heater. No, they're, they're, not, they're not trading yeah, Fred. You're Anderson. right, you're right. I just wouldn't be surprised if they're looking at it, right? It's not the time. Like it's not the time to do it. They like, should have done. They should have done it. You don't rock the boat. No, but here's here's with that too. Like the whole quarantine thing. Like if they made a deal for a goalie, the guy's not going to. Like if they wait till the deadline, which right. is the twelfth, he's he's, he's got to be fourteen days in quarantine. So the so guys, you'd, you'd, have even, and, you'd have Campbell and Hutch for two weeks. Right. Exactly. So or or Vinny V, but. Uh, or Vinny V. I don't see Vinny V. Ever. I think he's going to make Joseph, an appearance. I see Joseph Wall before I see Vinny V. I don't know, maybe. But uh, look, the whole quarantine thing, I think that puts a kibosh on a goalie trade right there. Because if they – deadline's coming up the 12th of April. Uh, you know, uh, they bring someone up from the States. Like, I don't think they're going to grab a, one of the goalies from any of the other Canadian teams. So you grab – Although it would be interesting if Vancouver slips out and like maybe Holt be, became available or something like that, that would kind of be interesting, but that's what I'm saying. Just but but little... so that the quarantine would not be needed. That would be maybe something I would look at a goalie that's won the cup. Like if, if Vancouver is out by the debt, but that's so, like, they're kind of fighting. They're, they're fighting for yeah. the fourth spot too. Right. <laughs> and it's, that's not just the North division. Like in every division, there's pretty much one team in every division. That's not going to make the playoffs. But one through six in every damn division is so tight. It's so tight. Like There's nobody the th- giving up. There's no, nobody no. giving up. Like, do you think Kyle Dubas has the balls to be like, if Vancouver does slip out, like it's the only goalie in the, in the North division. Is Holpe not the only guy that kind of makes sense? He's the only guy I could see any team parting with. Maybe right. o- Ottawa has a ton of like no-namers. That no, but that's not a guy you want for I know, a fucking I know what like, you're saying. Holpe would be the guy. That would not like you don't not come. Yeah, like Calgary. Under- Calgary's not parting with either Riddick, no. or Markstrom. No, I don't think so. And, and I, and yeah, I would Vancouver, I would, Holpe, they would part with Holpe. Right, four million dollars. Fred's making five. So you give, you give. But this is a risky thing. Like I think, I think Holpe has term on his deal though. So they probably wouldn't want to do that unless. But- Unless the Leafs threw in their first round pick and Nick Robertson or something like that, then well, it you waited. can only and you can only protect one goalie in the expansion draft, right? So maybe if you took someone on, it doesn't have to be Holpe, but if you took someone on with term, you protect Campbell and you hope that Seattle takes the guy that you know. I don't, there's going to be goalies unprotected. Like, I don't think Cam, even if Campbell's left unprotected, we'll, we'll get into this later, like in a future episode, but we'll I don't get to that later. Well, we'll get to that later, but I don't think Campbell will be picked by Seattle. I think there's going to be better goalies out there that. Yeah. Well, Flurry was available for the Vegas. Yeah, I know. Like, I think yeah. there'll be better goalies. So I'm not even worried about that, but like, I don't know. Would you feel more comfortable with Holpe and Campbell right now? I probably would. Right now, yeah, but I don't I don't know. Fre- maybe Freddie works through this. Like you say, maybe he comes back in April and all of a sudden he's Freddie Anderson from 2017. Maybe. And- True. 
just amazing. But and what? But what if Holtby becomes Braden Holtby from 2017? And the difference is Braden Holtby has not only won a playoff round, he's won a cup. Well, gone Freddie the Anderson way. can't get by a round. Dude, imagine having a guy in the pipes that's like won the whole damn thing. Like Freddie's confidence. See, this is the whole thing that worries me about. Fuck, man, we spent most of the Friday's podcast talking about Freddie too, but it's just such a thing. But, but it's, like. It's, it's all anybody's talking about. Look, we like, will get into we will get into knobs. Yeah, we we will. But like, look, another thing with Fred is, and this is a this is a huge problem. Is that okay? Does he find his confidence again to finish out the regular season and like he they they finish strong and they end up winning the division, or whatever? That's all great. But then it's a whole other fucking thing when playoffs come. Because is he going to go back to like? can't win the big game Freddie in the playoffs or like where, or is he going to ride the, so there's so many unknowns here. Like we don't know what's going to go on here. Is he going to find it and just run with it? And it's, he's a different guy and whatever chances yeah. are probably not. If we're looking at reality here, is it going to get to a point where they get to, uh, they get to, let's say they're playing Montreal in the first round and they get to a game seven and he lets in another five, six, seven goals, and they're out in the first round. Oh, he's going to get torched. Absolutely fucking well, torched. He he won't be around to hear all. Well, the he'll be getting torched on his. He'll be getting torched on his way out. Like I mean, that's he can't. Be this the is what reason. I'm saying. Dubis is thinking about this. We're we're talking about this, and we're just two schlubs on a podcast. He can't. The general be- manager has to be thinking. This goalie cannot get it done. No, and but he can't be the – yeah, you're right, maybe. And we're going to find that out, I believe. But, like, he can't be the reason, or I hope he is not the reason why they don't – it cost them. Like, I hope he's not the reason why they can't get it done this year. I really hope it's, it's not that. I, I hate to say it. Everyone will point – take out the two games last weekend back-to-back. The stretch between Vancouver – and up to last weekend, those four games, two against Winnipeg, two against Vancouver, they were all on Freddie. He got outplayed by the other goalies in every game. Yeah, 100%. Say, oh, well, he didn't have a chance on this goal. He didn't have a chance on that goal. You know what? If last night, Campbell, we, we talk about the game being boring and Campbell just did what he had to do. Yeah, because he didn't let any soft goals. You didn't really notice Campbell except for those big saves. That's what I want from Freddie. I don't want to see shots from the point slipping by every every fucking. And not only that, first goals, man. He's oh. letting in like first shots or first of the three shots. Is I, dude, I was ecstatic last night to get out of the first period without <laughs> letting a goal in. Like, I was ecstatic to get out of the first three minutes. No, I know. I was in. thinking. I was thinking that too, but. So I, I'm sorry. I know there's a lot of Freddie Anderson lovers and a lot of a lot of gold. Like a guy like Noodles, he'd be on me right now for saying. Oh, it. But this is maybe not though. I don't know. Like it's this is on Freddie Anderson, man. This is this is this streak that they've been on is on Freddie Anderson. It's deflating. It's hard to play in front of a goalie that has lost his confidence. Last night they looked like a different team. Campbell made the saves they he had to make. They pulled out a two nothing win. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be, this is going to be interesting. Like we're going to see what happens. Like after these, this four day stretch here coming up, they're basically back to every other night until as far as they go in the playoffs. So there's no more breaks. This is it. It's over. They might have a couple days off here and there coming back from out West or whatever, but there's no, there's no large uh, gap of uh, Dave's off after this. This is it. So, you know, we're going to find out what's up. Like, I think they might use the Freddie thing as like a, okay, this week they can get away with, well, you know, it's out of our hands because Fred's not available anyway. But when Fred becomes available, then what? We'll see. We'll I think, see. yeah, I think it's going to be like you said, he, they're going to hit a back to back and Freddie's going to get his chance. And if it's another four goals and 18 shots, Oh God. Campbell will go back in. Yeah. So this is going to be super interesting the goalie thing down the stretch.